Hello, welcome back to my bench. Uh, you know, I made a video a little while ago about this little um, high voltage capacitor tester. Uh, and at that time, it didn't have a meter on it. It just had a, where you connected uh, your, you know, meter for voltage up here and your current down here and your uh, device under test here. Uh, since that time, I found a little DC milliamp meter, 10 milliamps. And I thought, you know, it was in the junk box and it was brand new, never been used. And Emico, I guess it is. Uh, and I thought, you know, what the heck, let's uh, let's test it out in this thing. So I did. Um, and uh, if I'll, I'll put a link up there in the corner to when I built this um, so you can see the difference. Uh, I, this thing has a huge, the, the, the back part of it for this big giant meter movement that goes through the hole. So I had to use my, uh, nibbling tool a lot to get that thing, um, in there. Uh, but I, it fits and it looks, looks pretty good. I put in a little switch down here. That's meter on, meter off. It's just a little single pull, single throw, push button switch that, uh, connects the plus, right there that plus to the meter and the negative is always connected and when you push that it just moves it over to there so it's onto the meter rather than the uh, output current here uh and then put the hey buddy i'm on light over here because this thing does supply some voltage i still don't have a meter for the voltage on this i have to use my uh my voltmeter connected to the top and since it goes up to near 600 volts yeah, and it, it'd be kind of hard to find, you know, one of those little square guys that'll that'll do the job. Uh, anyhow, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to test this thing. And I want to show you. Let's see if I can get something to make it stand up here on its own. I doubt it. Eh, no. All right, I'll just have to manhandle it. All right. This is specifically designed for measuring capacitors uh, at voltage rather than uh, for uh, current or for, you know, um, uh, ESR or leakage or anything, you know, the other stuff. Well, it is leakage, but at voltage. I now have six different ways to test capacitors. Uh, I've got this. I've got this guy over here, um, which this one will tell you a lot of information about a capacitor, but it doesn't put voltage on it. Uh, I've got Mr. Carlson's, this little guy here, which is specifically designed for leakage. It does a much better job up on, um, ceramic and mica capacitors. It does do, uh, electrolytics also, uh, and it only, it puts 27 volts on, but it does a great job at, um, measuring for leakage. Uh, I've got my regular capacitor meter, I've got my ESR meter, and I've got my little, this guy, you know, one of these for testing, uh, testing them too. So um, uh, many different ways to test caps, but I didn't have anything to test them at voltage. So we're going to, this worked, we saw it work in the other, um, other video, but we're going to see how it works. Uh, with the meter and see how that how that looks. So, anyhow, um, let me get a, something that is designed to work with. Here we go. What's this? This is uh, 80 microfarad at 450 working volts. All right. So the first thing you do with this is you turn it on. Uh, the meter up in the left up there is the working voltage that the that's going to come out here. So we turn this on with nothing hooked to it. You notice it goes to 15. Well, that's where I got it right now. It only goes down to 9 volts, 9.6 volts when it's completely down. But we're going to turn this up to 450. Approximately. Yeah, close enough. And then we're going to turn it back off. This is a uh, electrolytic, 80 microfarad electrolytic. So this is negative. This is positive. Come here. So we're going to hook it up there, and it's 80 microfarads. <clears throat> so it will take a, a small amount of time for it to build up. 
Um, but I'll let you see this here. Here's the, there's the meter. What we should see when we turn it on is it bounce up and then come back down again. Uh, since this is 80 microfarads, it's going, it should take a little bit of time. But uh, let's, uh, middle is off, right is discharge, and left is test. Yep, slammed all the way over to the top, and down it comes. It, uh, that's a good, that's a good capacitor. At least it should be. Or I got a bad, bad connection here. I didn't like the way that dropped suddenly. Let's try that again. No. It's going right up to 444 volts. That's what you'll see when these things are working. Now this, I'm not sure I like that. Um, it says there's no voltage on the output. Maybe we took this out. I don't know. Let's, uh, just to be on the safe side. Nothing. Well, let's uh, let's put it over on this guy and see what it says. Plus on plus negative over. Whoops, negative over here. Let's see what this guy says. It's it went. It died. We killed it. Okay, so it's saying ninety nanofarads. So this uh, this capacitor opened up under 450 volts so she no good well that's interesting here's another one let's try this let's measure this just to make sure this one is uh was this a two yeah this is a two microfarad it is not an electrolytic and uh we're going to measure this and see what it says give it time to settle down 2.3, 2.1 microfarads. It says 16 ohms uh, at uh, on 100 hertz, at 88 degrees, uh, minus 88 degrees. So that shows us a pretty fair cap on this system here. Let's. Um, this is what 400 volts. Turn this over. Three ninety-five, close enough. And let's hook her up. This is not an electrolytic. This end is marked as the foil end, the end that's the the stuff closest to the outside that can receive interference from RF and other kinds of stuff. Uh, you want that to be closest to ground when you put it in um, uh, in in a circuit, or closest to the lowest impedance depending on how it's set up, but you want that to be uh, close to the ground in most cases. Um, so let's hook this up here. Now we should see, hopefully we don't blow this one up too. Let's see what it does and watch the meter up on the left. What you should see is it go up and come back down pretty quickly since it's only two microfarad and approach its working voltage. So we'll see here. And, yeah, 400 volts, 2 microfarad. It didn't even bother to jump. I don't think I burnt my meter up. I don't think so. Let's, uh, let's try something that I do know how to test, or that, that I'm sure of here. This is an electrolytic, and it's, uh, 47 microfarads at 50 volts. Now this should. Take this down to 50. That's close enough. This is a bipolar cap, so it doesn't have a direction. But I like going the long lead is plus. Just try to think that way. Now let's see what this does. See if it jumps. 
There, it jumped. See it? It jumped and it came back down. The voltage is approaching. It's 50 volts or 47, 48, 49 volts. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. If we discharge it, okay, and turn it on again, watch the meter jump up and come back down slowly, and your voltage up there in the corner uh, rise to meet your working voltage, which it does. 47, 48, 49, somewhere around there. So this is a good cap. Uh, I looked around and I found some bad ones. You guys know that I do a lot of cap changing on stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, for a lot of the uh, radio station equipment that's, that I fix. Uh, so I found these. These are bipolars. And this thing's good for bipolars. Very nice. And these are 47 at 25. So let's take this guy down to its 25 volts. Probably should put a 10 turn. No, I don't want to do that. A 10 turn pot? Yeah, that'd be nice on there. All right, turn it off. Hook it up. And watch your meter up there on the left and watch this guy and see what it does. It should bounce up and come back down pretty quickly. So here it goes. Bounced up. And it's not coming down. And if you notice, that other one we had was 47 microfarads too. You notice that we're very slowly climbing in, in voltage. I mean, very slowly. We're just up to 8 volts now. And my meter is reading just under 1. Now, this meter is relative. It doesn't mean much of anything, uh, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um... Anyway, but it's not dropping down. It's it's very, very, very slowly coming down. So that means there's something wrong with this capacitor. Let us find out. Let's put it on this guy here. And see what we got. Uh, nope. I want this on capacitance. Go away. Ah, I hit a button. There's so many buttons on this thing. Hang on. Okay, it's on capacitance now. All right. Oop. All right, so it's saying 36, 36.8 microfarads. Look at the degrees here. Uh, minus 48 degrees phase and 3.88 at one kilohertz. Let's change the frequency to a hundred hertz. And we've got 43 and 80, but a six, six hertz, or can you see that? Six ohms um, ESR. So this thing this little cap here is definitely leaking. Just for fun, let's take these guys, so I know I'm still on my... I think I'm on my 25 volts, am I not? Yeah, 25 volts. All right, we'll take this meter off here, and we'll put it on here and to measure millivolts, and I'll show you what I mean by it doesn't mean anything. Um, all right, I'm on voltage. Okay, so this should work. I'll turn it on, and the meter, this time the meter up there on the left is going to read millivolts, one millivolt per volt of, uh, for, for, um, microamp. So here we go. So it's reading point, point oh five. So... 58, 57, 57 millivolts of leakage, which is exactly what this is showing. Now, oh, darn near. I mean, wow. Okay, so it is right around 50. However, if I take this button out, take the meter out of the circuit, you see that it's actually 
you know, 70, 76, 760 millivolts, almost a, almost a volt. So it is definitely leaking. The meter doesn't really mean anything. It's just, uh, just an indication. So, but anyway, there you go. The meter works. Evidently a 10 milliamp works pretty good. I, it would be nice to have well, one would be useless. I mean, I not useless. It would be good, but you couldn't see if you had anything that was bad, really. Because if it's bad, it starts right around that half point. Um, so 10 milliamp, milliamp meter movement seems to work just fine. And a little single switch down here. So there you go, guys. Hey, if you enjoy the, the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Hit that like button for me. I like the likes a lot. And uh, if you want to uh, support me over on Patreon, that'd be wonderful too. So, have a good day. Until next time.